Hello, this is Joe McGee. Welcome to our podcast. Make sure that you subscribe and please share the podcast with your friends. That is the number one way you can help us reach people with God's love and healing. We love you guys. Hope you enjoy the podcast. Hey, everybody, this is Joe McGee. Welcome to Wednesday Wisdom, where we take some time and you just pick out a word. We find several scriptures about that word. That's how I used to teach my kids years ago. I get three by five cards and I'd have the word for the week and said, I'm going to give you seven days just to memorize one verse because God's word has power in it. It's not the number of scriptures that you memorize. You just need to believe God for one. You know, Peter's walking on the water and he started to sing. All he prayed was help, H-E-L-P, help, and Jesus saved him. It's not a long prayer, but it was an effective prayer. So I'll get some scriptures. These are some great scriptures about home ownership. Because I've always believed, you know, we're on this planet temporarily, but everybody ought to have a house, you know, have your own home, eventually have it paid for, you know, so you don't owe anybody anything. So let's get some scriptures on this. Proverbs 12, 7. Proverbs 12, 7. Wicked men are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous stands firm. Now I start looking up scriptures about home ownership. The house of the righteous stands firm. I like that. Especially out here when I lived in Oklahoma, you know, we'd have those little temporary earthquakes, you know, air shaking, rattling, and rolling. And so we had to make sure when we built our last home, I lived in it, uh, I think 34 years, uh, we had to do steel bar in the concrete because it would crack, you know, that foundation, that house that would crack, but it wouldn't separate because we put the steel bar in it. So we knew, well, what's that? Well, we're prone to earthquakes here. So you got to put some steel bar in that foundation. And we did. And that house stood firm and is still standing today. I sold it to another guy. He's been in for, gosh, I think, uh, 10 years now. Uh, redid the roof, put on an extra porch, and it still stands firm because we made sure. Next scripture is Proverbs 14.1. Proverbs 14.1. Every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish one tears it down with their own house, with their own hands. Every wise woman builds her house. You don't find the house. Houses are built. Built. Proverbs 15, verse 5. Proverbs 15, verse 5. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but the revenues of the wicked, there's trouble. It means if you got wicked, there's going to be trouble in your house. In my house, there's much treasure. In the house of the righteous is much treasure. You ought to start confessing that over your home. Bless it. Proverbs 19, 14. Proverbs 19, 14. Houses and riches are an inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Woo, have mercy. We could do something with that one. Proverbs 24, 27. Proverbs 24, 27. Finish your outdoor work. Get your fields ready. After that, build your house. In other words, I, when I used to teach high school kids, I'd say, get a job. You can't go get a house or get a car. You don't even have a job yet. So work on getting a job, getting a good job, a job that pays well, <laughs> know how to uh, save your money, set some aside, pay your tithe. Uh, it, it's just real good. So this, uh, this is a great one. This is Mark chapter 10, verse 29. Jesus is talking. Mark 10, 29. And Jesus answered, said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left house, brethren, sisters, father, mother, wife, children, or lands for my sake and for the gospels, but shall he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. She said, you've not given up anything for me that I won't repay. I, I, I'll pay back a hundredfold. I'll get a hundredfold return on whatever I sow for God. Mm, I love that. Psalm 127 verse one, except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that build it, except the Lord keep the city. The watchman watches in vain. It's all about God. It's about Jesus. All about Jesus. This is Proverbs 3.33. Proverbs 3.33. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. Mm. You know, some you ought to just take a minute today sometimes to go outside, get you some oil. I don't care if you got Western oil, uh, Crisco oil. I did this every home I've ever owned. I went outside and I put a little greasy spot above every door. I anointed every door of my home, front door, back door, side door, and I call my house blessed. I said, this house is blessed. I'm the righteous God in Christ Jesus. 
and God promises to bless, bless my house. The home of the righteous is blessed. He said so. I'm saying what God says. My home is blessed. My home is blessed. My home is blessed. Because too many people are speaking negative things over their home. Man, I hate this house. I hate this neighborhood. Stinking house. Stinking rotten building. You got to change your confession. Now start saying what God says. Call your home a blessed place, you know. You know, then Psalm 91, verse 10, this is famous. There shall no evil befall you. Neither shall any plague come near your home, for he shall give his angels charge of you to keep you in all your ways. The angels of God kept around about me everywhere I go. I tell people all the time, why, why did you, how'd you get such a great home? Angels of God kept around about my home. That's what kind of house, not where you live. It's like, is it a blessed home? People can walk in your house and man, this house is peaceful. That's because God's welcome here. We don't allow strife, division, anger, sin. We don't allow that. We learn how to repent quick and forgive quick. Our home is blessed. Our house is blessed. So home ownership is a good thing. Get your home. Start getting it paid for. Anoint it with oil. Call it blessed. Favor is going to come. God promises to surround the righteous with a shield of divine favor. God bless, guys. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to hear more of what God can do in your life got a great future for you and your family and we're here to help you get there please make sure you visit joe mcgee ministries on facebook youtube and instagram there you find all of our friday funny videos and other encouraging resources for you and your family while you're at it be sure to visit joe we have all sorts of materials books dvds you name it all there to help you your marriage and your family succeed